Hey everyone, welcome to Venture Ventures Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. I'm Jake, the DM for tonight. We're going to get right into episode 28 after this hopefully uh, brief recap of what happened last time. Uh, the Bean Squad are in search of Zeriel's sword, which was thrown down and stabbed into the ground somewhere in uh, the first level of Hell Avernus, where upon a bleeding cit citadel uh, sprung up around it. Uh, and they're being guided by a holophant named Lulu. And uh, she's been leading them astray a little bit, also been doing good with her memories uh, in some respects, but now they are trying to uh, release a Dao from its contract with Zeriel, trying to procure the blood of a Titan who is needs the blood of Tiamat, the Dragon Queen. Uh, a lot of fetching. This is hell. Makes sense to me. Uh, maybe not in game design sense, but in hell sense, it sure does. So, uh, last we left off, the gang had left to head over to Archon the Cruel's Tower and made some wrong turns and got a little lost and then came upon a group of scavengers and roving infernal machines where they had a little ruckus came out on top and that's where we left off just when they came out on top after killing the last evil minion as history is written by the victors i'm going to rewrite that recap slightly and say we didn't get lost we decided to reroute and go past some car dealerships because ours was looking a little rough sure and, sure sure uh, we got lucky and we we hit a wonderful used car dealership and uh Good show, mates. We got two new cars. You got two new cars. One <laughs> of them is a... Pulling up the... We Were we the on our... our old one. Were we on our way to Archon or on our way to see if we get payment from the Dow? We were on our remember. way to Archon. Nope, we were on our way to the Dow. <laughs> we were All right. on our way to the Dow. To see You're on your way to the us. Dow to, to get more soul coins? I think it was yeah. the S&P. And then you were going to go to Archons. Yeah. Potentially, unless Actually. the DAO was like, oh, I don't need you to do it. I just needed the information. <laughs> Taking because risk. we couldn't remember and didn't note <laughs> what the actual requirements of this request were. Uh, okay. So the two vehicles that they were riding on, Princeps Kovac, uh, his gang... Is a demon grinder like yours, or in better shape than yours for sure, and a scavenger. Both can carry eight medium creatures. The scavenger has one higher armor class than the demon grinder. It's slightly lighter and therefore more mobile in that sense, in, in the armor class sense. Um, yeah, let me see if I can do this. It doesn't look like a scavenger stat block has been pinned. For oh, there is one. Never mind. There is? Yeah, it's what we use Fantastic. to capture the uh, Hezru. Fantastic pass, Jake. Good job. I don't know that I can pin it, though. Uh, I'll do it. It's in there. Okay. It can be scan It can be scrolled through, the, the reference material. Yeah. I think it is. Mm, maybe not. Only the demon grinder, it looks like, is pinned. The other there ones are in there, but they're just not pinned. Excellent. It's there. All right. So, uh, Lulu goes... <sighs> Sorry, guys. Were we on our way to the Dow, or were we on our way to Archons? I think the Dow, and then maybe Archons? Okay. We're going to see if we can get some money out of the Dow for uh, the information on how to do it. 
And for um, gas. Mostly we need gas. We have two cars now, so you know. Oh, we're taking both? Well, there's enough of us to drive both, at least to till we can sell one, I figure. These seem to be valuable. Okay. What's the gas tank look on these things? Uh about half full. Well, I'll hop on the that scavenger would be the, uh, and drive that one. That would be the <laughs> the con to taking both cars is using soul coins on. What's our uh, soul coin stock look like? I don't have any in my pockets. I've got one. I'm out. I'm out. I think, yeah, I think everyone's out. Well, that is a bummer. I'm going to drive the scavenger uh, until it runs out of gas, and then okay. I guess we can abandon it. It might come in handy before then. Yeah, try to sell it immediately. I don't think the Dow is going to be in the market for an infernal machine, but... Sh should we search around yeah, the machine? Yeah, worst case, we can, we can leave it there by the demon zapper so we at least know where it is. Maybe we can search the machine and, and the bodies to see if we can find any soul coins. They had to be powering it somehow. Yeah, there's, the, there's that big brain of yours thinking. Maybe if we run into trouble, we can put a cinder block on the gas pedal and aim it at someone. Entirely possible. Well, let's check their pockets. That's a great. You're idea. not in the cinder block area of Avernus, unfortunately. <laughs> so, oh, fucking DM. <laughs> <laughs> That's on the opposite <laughs> side. If you'll, if you'll take a look at your map. No, I'm kidding. It says I under construction. I rolled a 17 yeah. on investigation for looking for soul coins. Okay, you find three potions of healing. Ooh. Hey, weren't we looking for those? <laughs> Ooh, potion of healing. You find sling bullets. 20 of them. Just what we needed. What is a sling bullet? It's a bullet, bullet for, a, for sling. a sling. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy you guys decided to say that instead of me. I didn't. I wouldn't have described it any other way. <laughs> I had the same question, but was too embarrassed to ask. <laughs> I, yeah. I thought it would be something fancy, but no. It's just exactly what it said. It is. Yep. And you find three books. What kind of books? Not, uh, <laughs> not spell books. Uh, one of them in Infernal says the, the Batorian Folio of Camille. And it's bound by fine chain. One of them is the demonic folio Asrida. And this is in a this is a steel coffer with scrolls inside. Oh. And uh The demonic folio had scrolls inside? Yeah. Uh what kind of scrolls? Not spell scrolls. Oh. <laughs> scrolls that make up the demonic folio. Indeed. I guess that makes sense. Indeed. Indeed. I, I was hopeful. <laughs> I haven't found any spell scrolls down up and down here. Yeah, down here. And the Codex of the Arcane. Ooh, that sounds fun. It's a locked it's uh got a lock around it, locked brass. Um and uh yeah uh well I, I i hand uh one of the healing potions over to ollie and i mm. hand another healing potion over to um jerry i go on right. cat nippy um are any of the books flowing that i see him handling the codex of the arcane is glowing uh on the brass locked portion do Watch any... out for that lock, buddy. Do any of you guys uh, know how to pick locks? Yep. But you... I'm not touching that one. Aw, why not? Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got an idea here. Never mind. I can totally hear. Hand it over. Hand it over. And I go, whack him, zap him, whack! And I cast Dispel Magic on the lock. <laughs> First. Okay. What level? Uh, third is all I have, and it's a third okay. level spell. Uh, yeah, it, it dissipates. Um, that's just a fun little, uh, trick I do before, and I pull out my thieves' tools and set about unlocking the lock. 
make your tools check. Mm, Dex? Yes. Oh, yes. That'd be, uh... If you're proficient, you get proficiency bonus too, right? Or are you not proficient? I get... Oh, yeah, no, I just get my proficiency. So it's a 23. So yeah. Are... Question, are these potions of healing or greater... Greater They're potions, of potions of healing. Just regular. Just plain old lifesavers. Uh, so the brass lock pops open, and you now have access to the interior of the book where there are words written, uh, detailing things. Sometimes it will talk about people, sometimes it will talk about places. Sometimes it will wax on philosophically. And wax, that... Does it wax off? No. No, nope, oh. just on. Well, it, uh, I'm pretty sure Wizard wrote this. It looks uh, pretty boring. Here you go. It does. It's rude. Maybe I'll read it in my spare time. Sounds like it'd be right up your alley. How about... Uh... What are those other ones you found? And yeah, it... Is the demonic one in Abyssal? Uh, yes, indeed. Good job, Brian. What is that one all about? Uh, that I'm one's just interested uh, about uh, best ways to torture souls in the different layers, and how to use the various specific aspects of each layer. Uh, it's not all the layers because they're infinite. Uh, it's a bunch of layers, and uh, how to use the the unique aspects of each layer to torture beings. Uh, Jarvis, would you mind if I hold on to this one? I know someone who'd be fascinated by this material. Of course. Oh, thank you. What's that one called again? The Demonic the Folio, Folio Estrada? Estrada. Thank you. Estrada. S-R-A-D-A. Oh. Estrada. Got it. Eric Estrada, like chips? Is that his name? Yep. I don't know. Yeah, Eric Estrada. He's All right, thanks. still with us. That sounded so somber, <laughs> Phil. Still, still with still, us. Still fighting. It made, you made it sound like he was dead. <laughs> That's why I was <laughs> laughing you at first. You also made it sound like he's <laughs> like almost dead. I didn't I didn't mean to make him sound dead, and then you like added, still with us. Still with us. <laughs> Unprompted. Death of Jason. Uh, yeah. <sighs> And anyway. you also find three soul coins. Woohoo! There's the money. Oh, That's what I was looking for. Find three soul coins? No, yeah. you weren't looking. You were looking for spell stuff. No, be I was honest. No, I was actually looking for a soul. That's the whole reason that triggered this. Because Let's, we needed fuel. If I could, if what what would Jarvis choose? Would he choose three soul coins or three spell books from various? Without being able to look at the spell. Oh, books. I mean, if there were three spell books, I'd totally take the three spell books. Okay, yeah, that's because then I'm, I could probably, that's all I if I really needed to, I could probably sell one of the spell books for a lot more soul coins. Yeah, sure. <laughs> if you really, lucky, a spell yeah. book is worth more than a soul coin. If it's like a from a decent wizard, yeah. Because yeah. can, because I can like yeah. copy the spells into my spell book, spend the time, and then sell it. Yeah. Theoretically, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would have based on how we've progressed so far. I would have thought three spell books were not even worth one soul, soul coin. They're worth like two hundred arrows <laughs> by my calculations. <laughs> I hope you. I, I hope this gets ingrained into your head, Roz. Where you're like you're at work, and somebody asks you how much the potatoes are, and you're three like five arrows, arrows. <laughs> five, five arrows a piece. On sale. Three, three and a half arrows. Times are tough out here. Excuse me? Three arrows, then. I mean, this isn't a negotiation, but fine. Three. Uh, cool. So, who's man and what, and what's the plan? Well, I'll, back to the um, down. I'll, I'll grab one of the soul coins, if that's all right. Because uh, Ali is slightly jealous that he doesn't have one. Does anyone have a soul coin right now, or are we all out? Yeah, I, I have a, I have one soul coin. All right, so I'll give one to Rollercos, one to Ollie. So we all have a soul coin now. And then I'll hop on the scavenger and uh, 
to the demon zapper. Actually, Jer I take that back. I'm not going to go with Ollie. I'm going to go with uh, Jerry. Right, then I will go with Ollie. Who's Cat driving the grinder? Is it Jerry or Jarvis? Jarvis, and I'll be on the... Uh, the uh, what do you call Wrecking it? Ball? Wrecking ball. Wrecking ball. The scavenger, if you remember, Roz, has the uh, a claw on the back of it. Does that do anything special, or is it just a claw? It, it grabs is a grappling things. claw. Oh. Do more damage than a bow and arrow? It does not do any damage at all. It grapples oh. and restrains things. Okay. Uh, that being that its name is a scavenger, it's probably scavenges things and drags them along. Like, has uh, it, Isn't that the thing we can also do jumps on? No, that was a no. different one. Mm. That, that was, was a motorcycle. Devil, Devil's Ride motorcycles, yeah. I need the leader of the two, whoever's in front, who's navigating to do survival checks. A survival check. The driver okay. or the not driver? Whoever is, like, navigating. I'm an adventurous driver, so I'm zooming out in front in my more nimble vehicle. Ha ha ha. Survival, you said? Yeah. 17. Nice. Not bad, not bad. So it takes you the better part of the rest of the day to get to Ralzala at the Demon Zapper. And uh, as you approach, there are no demons currently being zapped. But getting out of your vehicle and approaching, sure enough, the Dao materializes out of the earth beneath the Zapper and looks at you almost... You, you think there's a hint of, of hope or, or, like, expectation? But it's hard to tell on her cracked, gravelly, earth, earthen face. And she says, uh, Did you find out how to break the curse? And do you have the means with which to do it? Good news. We did find out. Bad news, it sucks real bad to do it. My daddy so, ask why? Uh, we just have to go to a lot of places, resurrect a titan, kill it or get its blood. There's a lot uh -huh. of work involved. We're going to do it. Um, we just wanted to, to do two things. One, we're going to park this, uh, this infernal machine here. If you can keep an eye on it for us, that'd be great. Um, and two... We need some soul coins up front uh, to pay for gas because this trip is going to take like multiple legs that we weren't expecting. Um, we're going to need some gas money. <laughs> uh, how many do you think you'll need? Uh, probably two because we got to go to Ark and the Cruel's yeah. Tower. How far is Ark on the Cruel's Tower from here? I'm not sure how far it is, but how about I give you three just to make sure. I mean, we might as well make it four at that at that rate. Right. This is a weird negotiation. <laughs> I was being generous. <laughs> Do you often? Well, if you got another uh, crew to like break your you curse, gifts? like <laughs> all the all time. Means. If you have another person who can give you a personal invitation that Bell will actually look at. You know, funnily know. enough, I feel like someone did offer that, but now I can't remember who it was. I'll I take did. three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm pretty There's sure three. Mad Maggie mentioned Belle. Oh, she nope. can, uh, she has a no relationship <laughs> with Belle. And Ollie's never met her. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be real happy with, uh, with the results. I mean, it's a whole big world out there beyond 50 yards from the, the Demon Zapper. You just you're gonna have a ball. A lot of a lot of good stuff out there. Thanks. What was your name again? Uh my name's Jerry. Jerry. Thank you. Raul Zala could give us the letter of introduction for Bell. So this is who, who you're talking about. That's who we're talking to. <laughs> that's what I'm this saying. This is Raul Zala. No, I know, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I thought he can give us that's what I wrote in my notes. Yeah. Like, he said, "Who else can?" Oh, in our, in our I thought. Got it. For more money. Never mind. I <laughs> misunderstood what he said. Um, 
anyway, I, I so he hands over three soul coins. I pocket one of them and hand out and pass back the other two to whoever grabs them. I would like to ask what your goal is here, other than I believe you had mentioned to save El Terrell. Oh, is that was that what you guys? Did? I'm just um, just looking for a decent time. Just a, this, this seems to be the new the new regular. So I'm just I'm just finding my way down here, and I just ran into some friends. Oh, just just looking cool. for a good good hang. Saving El Terrell. That's what we're doing, guys. Yeah, saving El Terrell. That's yeah. what we're doing. Should be fun. And how do you plan on saving El Terrell? Well, uh, I do have to give Zariel the double bird. Committed to that. Um, oh, I don't think gonna that's going to do the job, but I am committed to that. <laughs> Who did you promise that to again? Uh, mail carrier. Oh. Uh, nice guy. <laughs> uh, over at the market. So you're going to go to her flying here. fortress and just walk in? Wait, you know where she is? A flying fortress? I News know she's me. in a flying fortress i don't know where she is ah, i see so no we're we're planning i guess on talking to bell about um about Bec doing this as you should because bell hates zariel and wants nothing more than to see her dethroned does yeah, anyone get like the impression zariel? that a lot of people hate zariel well, right jerry there was she i know of a a a iron a place of iron trees where a man in great armor tortured and spiked hell riders for to be ever tortured and impaled on these trees he was a great follower of Zeriel. oh shit killed that guy Oh, oh, you killed that we, guy. We helped him. We helped him. We set him free. You killed that guy. No, you were telling me about it, Jerry. You set uh, one of the Hell Riders free, and then you killed uh, Haramon. <laughs> you said his name yeah. was. Oh, I thought he was Haramon, talking about. The, I thought he was talking about the guy that was that was hanging on the tree, the Iron Tree. So we put that. Yeah, guy no, in he. Uh, good point. He was a friend of Zeril. We we killed him, or they did. I we. You know, it's a group thing. I can take credit now. Unless you can make a deal with Tiamat in some way before she eats you and her propensity for dealing with mortals is not desirable from your perspective. She wouldn't give us a vial of her blood, would she? Uh, not unless you gave up something valuable. Noted. I feel like even being called the cruel Archon is a better bet for that than Tiamat herself. I'd feel weird if someone walked up to me and asked for my blood. But if I had already given someone else my blood and they were asked for a vial of it, like it's le it's it's a less weird request. If if you say so. Hey, really can I have some of your so. blood? No. Yeah, weird, right? <laughs> I wouldn't want the other guy to have it either, to give it to you. Well, but if he already has it, then it's less weird. Sure. <laughs> Alright, so we got the soul so, coins, so... Uh, who you took want the me other to... Did people I, take the I, other I grabbed one. I'll take one. Alright. I'll do my best to watch over this machine. Demons usually don't come for the machines. They come to destroy this place. What devils? Can you keep devils off the machine? I am limited in a range around the demon zapper, but I will do my best. We can move it closer. We'll just park it. Yeah, can you move it like... 10 feet closer yeah, maybe can... like 11 yeah absolutely maybe even 12 and can you that. what what happens when you go one foot past the the perimeter you get zapped uh, nothing I just want I'm just saying I can't 
go past. Like, I physically can't. Ah, so it's just like a force field. It's a magical barrier, correct. Got it. Can you what turn if... the wheel all the way to the right? <laughs> is there Up a curb? Away. Is, yeah, is there a curb? <laughs> I just... I just want you to turn it to the right for my I have a thing I like no, if it gets bumped from behind right. you don't want it to like no I just prefer <laughs> the wheel to be turned to the right than straight or especially not to the left yeah sure I'll, I'll do that for you uh, parking brakes on the left only the, the left? left yeah it's unfortunate Anyway. <laughs> oh crap. Uh so she basically um yeah, that's by basically it. And you guys hop on your which one are you taking? The scavenger or the I think we take, take the other one. The the one has Jarvis life. shouldn't drive. Jarvis just realized he has three points of exhaustion still. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally the worst person to have drive. <laughs> Yeah, Jarvis is not driving. <laughs> Anyone want to drive? I'm really tired, guys. I did not get a good night's sleep last night. It's like being Very in Vegas drive. after two nights pulling two all-nighters and having... Yeah. <sighs> we might want, have, uh, might want to have Ollie drive if we're going to be... Uh, well, never mind. I'll just I'll drive us. Yeah, don't want a medic game. Go for it, Jer. All right. I'll kick back in a harpoon slinger, pull my bike, cock it down, put my feet up, and assume they're, the traveling position. They're not, like, comfortable. I mean, they, you, they, <laughs> you're making it sound like it's a, it's a freaking autumn. Like, I am a cat. I am quite comfortable regardless of what I am. I will I fit, know. I will find a way, and then I'll stay there. In terms of fit, it's good. But in terms of <laughs> You know, it's a metal seat, so I'm just saying. Uh, you just made it sound a little nice. And this is hell. I can't be having that. So. Uh, <laughs> Ollie makes it nice. Who's doing Which the navigating nice. to Archon the Cruel's Tower? Well, I narratively just took myself out of that one. I could. Somebody else is. <laughs> I could point you in the right direction, probably. Hopefully. And. As a navigator, you'll just have to stay up there and keep pointing every so often. Yeah, that's fine. Make a survival check. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. You spend the next day and uh, let me... I assume you guys are just going to pop up Liamin's tiny hut. Yeah, to sleep, night. yeah. Yeah. And... Uh, you're going to take watch. Let me roll for some encounters. Close, but no cigar. No cigar. One day passes, two day passes. And uh, so if you haven't done or done so already, uh, do your long rest. But... Uh, you said we, we, we'd had two, uh, two long rests? Yeah, but since you're camping out here in Avernus, and the sleep isn't that good, I'm not going to give you exhaustion, but I'm going to say, would you rather have an ability not available or some hit points taken away? You're talking to me as the driver? I'm talking to everyone. When you say ability, like an ability score reduction? Uh, I was more referring to like a class ability. Doesn't oh. my tiny hut, though, keep the environment um, stable inside the hut? Does where... it mute all sounds? I would say ability is my vote. That seems more fun scares me oh yes we would do it randomly yeah no it doesn't change i know there's nothing mentioned of sound so nope <laughs> the person who has had two character deaths already says yeah take away abilities that's more fun <laughs> <laughs> you're just yeah, a so, reroll addict um a little bit 
ability. But I have fun. Yeah, I'd rather <laughs> I'd rather go ability just because I'm squishy as all hell. All right, ability. It is. All right. Let me grab your. Do I get two point two levels of exhaustion back? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I have one level of exhaustion. Nice. Which is still disadvantage on abilities, isn't it? I don't. Yeah, I think it is. Disadvantage on ability checks. Yep. That's not that bad. Not great, but not too bad. I think the least. It's better than disadvantage on do... my con saves because that that sucked. It's <laughs> bad. So some of these are pretty bad for a wizard. Uh, to be taking away, would you rather have me pick the one, or would you rather have me randomly roll for it? If you pick it, are you going to be evil? Yes. I'm usually not. <laughs> Go ahead. Jake is fair. Go ahead Jake and pick is fair it. to benevolent, in my experience. <laughs> I, th I think sometimes I'm too fair. Transmuter it stone is kaput. Doesn't work. Do I know this? Like I said, fair to benevolent. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know my transmuter stone isn't working. Yep. Cool. You're like hitting it on your hand. Why isn't this thing? You try to you try to fix it. Can I spend eight hours making to a, cast new a new one? <laughs> you try to you you like try to half make a new one with the old one, and it's nothing's working. Cool. You go all cat nippy. Your stone's not glowing, man. Something it's usually pretty colors. Something about this planet, or not planet. Wow, there's something about this plane. <laughs> <laughs> something who knows something. Well, i guess with day. my level of intelligence i would know why absolutely perfect you would. yeah no yeah i just i don't know i just haven't been sleeping well lately and my oh, magic's hell. just not all there oh hell's a bitch yeah brian do you want me to pick or give just... me random all right one <laughs> two three i'm also gonna go random four Five, six. Take away sharpshooter when I'm a cat with seven, a bow. Eight. That'd be a bummer. <laughs> Guys, my vision is blurry. I can't see far. I can't Ooh. shoot straight. I got the shakes. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> yeah, but this is this my shooting. <laughs> All right, uh, I think it worked out. Blazing sense. Fairly. Counter charm isn't going to work. Oh, and here I've been like keeping that in the back of my head of like, I need to remember this to use it. Now I can freely forget it for a day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Rolikos. You lose touch with God. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> all your cleric spells are gone. <laughs> uh, okay. One... Two. Would suck. I feel like that's the only reason we get out of half of these encounters a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it just lets me, it lets me not be a healer. So you keep doing you. I'm happy about it. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, I forgot I got that wand of the war, war mages last time. Yep. And I still have no idea why, but I came out with another wand too. Traded. All right, Ollie, your Gloomstalker magic, that is Disguise Self and Rope Trick. Me, not Ollie. Rolly. I was going to say three of us have oh, Disguise yeah, Self Oh, yeah, Rolly Coast. I'm sorry. Rolly, yeah. So my Rope Trick and my Disguise Self? Yeah, you're, you got them from your Gloomstalker. Yeah. Do I keep Dread Ambusher? Yep. Or still a gloom stalker, just one without magic. Dave, you want random class ability, or do you want me to pick? Yeah, that's fine. Random's fine. I don't have that many abilities, so it's probably worse for me to do random, but but uh, I don't really care. But you have an added line of four times the susceptibility of hellish uh, spam calls. <laughs> <laughs> that's in the roll table for you <laughs> I haven't gotten one of those in a while it has been a minute your danger sense 
is oh <laughs> the ability I've never used. Out. Awesome. I think you've used it once. But yes, it was a good roll. Sweet. Thank you. Isn't that what also gives you like advantage on initiative or something like that? Yeah, uh, but just, that's no. Uh, it's it's it, it was before effort. advantage on Saving initiative. Throws. It's gotcha. yeah. It's basically like I can't be surprised. Yeah, yeah. Hold All good. right. Cool. All right. So, approaching, uh, you see a large tower in the distance. And what are your guys' routines every day when you get going? Are, are you guys prepping anything? Are you... What's... I don't really have anything to prep. Okay. Um, I just press the digitate myself and uh, Rolicos when he inevitably asks me every day. Yep. Um, yep, absolutely. Every time I see you do it. To make sure that we're nice and pristine and my blue cloak is Ro flawless. Rolicos is like that kid in school when you have a pack of gum and you have to like hide when you're grabbing a, a, a piece of gum because you know they're gonna ask, mm -hmm. yeah. and it's just, and it's just like every time, just you know, do every other. He, he's my old <laughs> bud. You should want. I do to it. I do it. It's all good. <laughs> I understand. Jarvis, over the last couple of days, if there was any downtime, he would have also read th some of the Codex. The Arcana. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> that it's just. <laughs> It's just um, talking about uh, one wizard on the Sword Coast who, um, and there's no name. Uh, he's just talking about his experience with wild magic and uh, experiments with it. Some of it's, most of it's boring, but some of it's like he turned himself into a boar. And, you know, it's wild magic stuff. Um, talking about, yeah, just getting getting into shit with uh, experiments. Cool. Jarvis, Jar Jarvis likes to read a lot, so Jarvis would spend any downtime reading that book in the future. Okay. Too, so. um, I'm also spending my downtime in the mornings and such. Uh, those bones I retrieved, the gnome bones from the, from the tree that I fished out, um, I'm slowly hollowing them out as best I can with various sharp implements and tools I have about my person and poking like and like drilling out little holes almost flute like do you have tools to do that I have a knife um, I have thieves tools and a disguise kit which might have something to slowly grind a uh, bow bone maybe probably not um but i'm also going to use just like things about like i can take a rock and grind that against the bone to try and wear down little okay. divots jarvis right, also take you has three... a knife i don't know if that would help you i mean a knife is as my knife gets dull i take your knife and use that <laughs> so you're poking holes in them mm -hmm. and they're bones so they're already hollow but i'm i want okay. them to be hollow cut All them right. off grinding off the edges so it can be like a hollow almost like i said vaguely flute like okay and i have um, four of them make a a holy shit that's gonna be a high dc uh do you have any proficiency in anything that would help you make these uh jack of all trades okay so that's half proficiency yep that's best i got uh, you heard a story, a couple stories about a great craftsman, and suddenly you're just... <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I'm proficient in bagpipes, and that's what I'm making. Okay. All right. That'll help with the DC. Make a dexterity... Make a dexterity sleight of hand check, and a... Intelligence, uh, intelligence check just in general. Okay, my sleight of hand is a 23. My intelligence, on the other hand, is going to be just straight intelligence, right? Yeah, does Jack of all trades go on this? It's just a sure. plus one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
with that plus one, it's a two. <laughs> wow. I okay. got a one. Yeah, that's rough. On, on the intelligence part of it. So you spend all your whole traveling time, which is the equivalent of multiple days, a few days. Mm -hmm. uh, and by the time you're done, some of them are just worn down to just be just shiv-like. And they don't resemble... In, like some of the holes you like broke through uh, from one hole to the next, making a larger hole, and you just kind of brushed it off as it'll still work. Uh, and no, <laughs> the, it's a you, you can't understand maybe a little bit now. You're starting to get why it doesn't work, but the whole time you're doing it, you're just like, no, nah, it'll be fine. But yeah, the bones are are. Rough. Fortunately, I stay How's... positive through the entire thing, even through the mess ups. I'm like, nah, it's a first try. Nah, like, nah, sure. Maybe How's... it'll How... come out. Nah. How's my knife I lent you? Uh, I'll find you a new one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the barbarian has knife sharpening things on him, just generally. But not that I know of. Rollo well, I'm just saying in. Uh, roller coast wood too to sharpen arrows um but we don't need to role play that never had to sharpen my swords i don't know what that life is like yeah i don't want to i don't want to <laughs> implement that into the game either are we still doing morning routines uh yeah what, what's your morning routine jerry likes to read his his previous night's journal entry and then he he role plays in his mind like like living his previous day as one of his other companions and he used to play it with kairos he would have been like what what would kairos have done in all these situations now he's looking for a new inspiration so is he, he still, going between them he still asks is, like is kairos not inspiring because he's dead well yeah he's kind of looking for he's i mean it's kind of like sacrilege to be like what would kairos do in this situation cuz he can't but yeah, he's just he's he's uh, thinking through his his decision making and just being like, you know, what would Kairos do in such such situation? It's like, yeah, all right, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do next time. Yeah, and then he does push ups so and sit ups. Okay, so he's not like he's not entirely sure of his decisions. Oh no, he questions all of them. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, Lulu's morning routine is to go and check in with each person and to make sure that the air is clear between them and air any grievances they may have with her. And she blesses each and every person. Lulu is HR. Yes. <laughs> and she encourages you all to stretch. Uh morning she in morning calisthenics and Yeah, uh, Jerry does it. Jerry always stretches with Lulu. Excellent. Excellent. And Jarvis, you're just reading. Yep. Okay. I just have to take off and put on my armor every night in the Indeed. morning. <laughs> Jerry's got his like leg out and like Lulu's like pushing down on it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like flying and pushing with her trunk, trying to Yeah. I can't do the uh, Okay. So approaching this tower, you guys are a few miles out. Uh there's some a smoke f filled air starting to build around you and you you can see the tower poking up out of this air, but at lower levels, kind of at your vehicle height, it's a bit smoky. And you start to hear the sounds of whoosh, 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 as a black, a green, a blue, and a red dragon swoop out of this fog at you guys as i see the dragons i would have cast um, mage armor as soon as i saw them that's yeah, we're actually close gary i mean i expect you that i kind of gave you the opportunity to say i cast mage armor every day that was 
Oh, okay. Partially. Well, I only would do it if I sense danger, and the second I saw the dragons, I would have cast it. You think you would have, like, been reading? Oh, it was while I was reading? Oh, you said you were reading... It's fine. Just Got it. No, I, I thought we were... Be I thought aware... we, that was done, and we were now headed towards this tower. My bad. Yeah, just be aware when I'm kind yeah. of giving you guys opportunities to... Uh, initiative rolls. Let's start with Ollie. Mod 20. Nice. Initiative's an ability check, technically, right? 1T1. Yeah. Yes, it is. Advantage. 21 for me. Jerry. 6. That's with advantage, because it's an initiative check. <laughs> and Jarvis. 15. 15. Jerry, Damn. clean up crew. <laughs> These are like actual dragons, or are these like some sort of devil? As far as you can dragons. tell, they're dragons. You said it was a That's green, awesome. a blue, and a red, right? And a black. Oh, and a black. There are four. They're slightly... They're still very large, uh, but they're not... Do any of you have experience other than stories and research with dragons? I read a lot of books. Yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, I assumed you've like read about every inch of. Yeah, I'm a bard, so I know things. Yeah, but no. Yeah, you it. think there's are <laughs> undersized dragons, maybe younger, uh, but they're still freaking dragons. Top of the round, coming right at you, Rollercoast. Four dragons. Oh golly! I pull out the bow. Because I think we're going to have to kill these guys. Because we're in hell and nothing is friendly. And I am going to do all of my attacks. With, uh... At which one? Fuck. Do <laughs> any of them look softer than the others? <laughs> Not, you can't tell you can't without tell. making a active check and using your action so okay. you, you can't just at a glance tell there's okay. one that's like just like a balloon yeah i'm gonna <laughs> go it's a macy's day balloon i'm going and there's for like black. little goblins <laughs> going for black why not black okay yeah and i'm going to use my war priest ability to get a bonus action attack also so i'm gonna get okay. four sharpshooter attacks nice <sighs> okay okay Mod 20 on the first one. Okay. The last attack will be my Dread Ambusher, so you can see extra damage. 20 hits. Okay. The second attack is a 13, so I'm assuming that's not going to hit. Nope. So 22 damage on the first hit. Uh, 17? Nope. Dread Ambusher attack... Mod 20. Okay. AC's 18. 27 damage on the last attack. 27. So 49 total. Yep. That's nice. it for me. Solid opening round. Ollie, within 100 feet of you. <clears throat> within 100 feet of me. I'm going to Let's see how big is this? How close are they flying if I uh, am doing something that's a 30 foot cube? How far can you? I don't. It's a 120 foot range. With oh, a 30 foot cube. You can get two of them centered on a point. You can get two of them. I can get two of them. Which two? So dragons. You've got black, red, green, <clears throat> and blue. Um, I'm going to go for the uh, uh, red and blue. Okay. I can't, you can I can't remember the, their stats, so there's no metagame here. <laughs> you, can, you can get the red and green, because they were in that order. Uh, okay. Uh, then red or and green is fine. Or you can get the fine. blue and green. Red and green is fine. Okay. Um, and I'm, I'm casting Hypnotic Pattern. Um, All right. As I make them see uh, pretty colors and yarn balls bouncing about okay. to distract them. 
Um, that is a wisdom save, uh, which, I don't know, the dragons, maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. <laughs> All right. It's a 20 and a 22. Pass with flying colors. That's it. Um... That is my action. I'm going to uh, bonus action. Um, tell Jarvis that I'm uh, secretly jealous of his big brain uh, to make him feel better and give him inspiration. Ew. So you have a D8 inspiration with my bonus action. Uh, and that's my turn. Right before it gets really loud with dragons and stuff. Also, I was lying. <laughs> but i'm very good at lying so you feel great about it and feel inspired <laughs> yeah what's your modifier i'm sure it's like plus 12 or something plus 10 no uh, plus 10 yeah i have expertise yeah yeah <laughs> okay it is now the black dragon's turn the dragon is going to fly forward and in a 30 foot line i need all of you to make a dexterity saving throw as the dragon breathes out green and black acid onto your vehicle and you guys uh which, which one was uh, this that did this black black thank you dex save uh -oh. hey you could have used that ability that you lost yep danger sense why? Would have been handy. I think so. Maybe not. And, I I can, it and how does the... It's been a while. I think I've only used it like once. How does the inspiration work again? I how does add, what? The inspiration at and any check I can add a D8? Or... Yep. An ability check, a save, or an attack roll. Cool. So if you rolled your D20 and you don't like the number enough, you can roll a D8 and add it. Beautiful. Roll the 22. It says 22. Traps and spells. Uh, but yeah, I would have been fine with using it. Oh, I, would, I wouldn't have thought to use it against this, but maybe not. Okay, twenty-two passes. Ollie? I fail. Fail. Nat one. Another nat one. Jarvis. Thirteen. Done. <laughs> Thirteen fails. And I used the inspiration. Wasn't enough. Dave. Eight. Three fails, one save. That you're is. thinking about my compliment, and then right at the last moment, you realized, wait, <laughs> that fucker was lying. And it just wasn't enough. Yes, exactly. Uh, and, you, and you faltered exactly. for just a moment. Oh, shit. Tries to <laughs> dive, yeah. Uh, 11d8 damage. Uh, is that after? Oh. Uh, that's 40 Perfect. damage to the people who failed. Oh. Can I shield that? No, no. Wow, oh, it's because that's an die. AC bonus. AC. <laughs> that's an AC bonus. Oh, man. I think we're all dying. And Relicos, uh, that's how. Oh, boy. Ooh, and our car, too, probably, huh? And your car's damage threshold is what, 10? Uh, I'm trying to get back to it. Yeah, I get so screwed on these initiatives. It's insane. Uh, like damage threshold before. 10, mishap 20. Yeah, so mishap time. Did it take 20 or 40? Or should it, oh. should it be rolled for? Well, I guess... Who's driving, Dave? Yeah. Go ahead, Dave. What? Make a deck save for the vehicle. I don't even... Oh. It's uh, plus it... zero. I don't even know that it can do that. Plus zero? I got a two. <laughs> yep, take it. Takes the 40. Got it. Uh, I'm just still going to look at a mishap real quick. Yep. Show me potato salad. There we go. Why do they hide it in there? It doesn't make sense. 
All right, D20. All right, <clears throat> you feel the vehicle start to grind and shake uncontrollably. And something in the undercarriage suspension chassis has been affected by this acid, dragon acid, and the vehicle has disadvantage on all dexterity checks, all ability checks, and attack rolls made by creatures on or inside the vehicle have disadvantage. Whoa. He's so dude. <laughs> we did. So, because shaking a lot, it even fucks with roller coasters. Oof. That was a bad roll for you guys with my that mishap. That was a bad roll. roll. Yeah. All right. Red dragons, or black dragons done. Jarvis. Uh, with my reading... Uh, would I know if any of these dragons have any resistance to fire? Do you want to use an action to think about that? No. Or what's your... Intelligence what's your... is a plus, is an 18. 18. Has any resistance to fire, is what you asked? Yes. Uh, you think the red dragon has? Beautiful. I'm going to try to banish the red dragon. Okay. And that's a charisma save of 15. Ooh, he's good at charisma. Ah! Terrifying beasts. I rolled a seven. Okay. And he has a plus eight on charisma saves, so that's ah! 15. Uh... <laughs> almost, almost. I almost got rid of one of them, guys. <laughs> Temporary. Could have been clutch. All right. Try putting him to sleep. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think that would work. <laughs> Lulu's turn. Save us, Lulu. Lulu turns into a giant. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but she can do that. We know she can. Right? A mastodon, right? At yeah. some point. Um... <laughs> just got to find her memories to do that. All right. And that was 40 points of damage you did, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah how are you even alive? Jarvis's. Jarvis? Not doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Jerry's not doing well. <laughs> so she's going to trumpet of sparkles. This black dragon. And I think that that's a fail. Yeah, they fail. Get him, Lou. And she does that amount of damage as spewing beautiful celestial sparkles hit this dragon and it kind of rears back and is also off put by sparkles being shot out of a the trunk of a small elephant, flying elephant. All right. The young red dragon's turn. Hey, don't go away. It is going to do what red dragons do. And breathe fire on all of us. And let out a gout of extremely hot fire. I need deck saves from all of you. And at disadvantage from the vehicle mishap? Or is it the vehicle's disadvantage for deck saves? It's just the vehicle has disadvantage. No, that's okay. not what you said before. You said every. I, well, I'll re I'll reread it. The... the people have a disadvantage Look. on attacks. Yes. Uh, until the mishap ends, the vehicle has disadvantage on all the dexterity checks and all ability checks and attack rolls made by creatures on or inside the vehicles have disadvantage. This is an ability check. It's a saving throw. Okay. I think I would think dodging out of the way of fire would be an ability. Well, uh, if you want to roll at disadvantage, well, you can. Jarvis is unconscious. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Nine, I rolled another. I rolled another three. Both of them were threes on my deck saves. So for I six. did great, and I still might be <laughs> unconscious. Uh, Seventeen. We're all gonna die. Seventeen oh, just passes. Twenty-four passes, and Dave failed. 
And Jarvis failed. Six. Yep. Jarvis. Sixteen. Roll for vehicle no at disadvantage, roll. Dave. Yeah, Dave, roll for vehicle at disadvantage. Deck, oh. uh, deck safe, which is zero. Plus zero. I'm really good at. Oh, uh, twelve. Okay. That's a fail. Sixteen d six. <laughs> Why are we fighting? They're gonna kill us. The good news is, it's lower than the average. I don't like Yay. these dragons. I'm pretty sure we're gonna die. I this is one of those encounters where you're to supposed to run. <laughs> uh, that's fifty points of fire damage. Holy shit! For each half, person, half if you saved. If you save. All right. Well, I'm Jerry, down. What is Jerry the, has to use his... What's the rule for amount of damage to automatically fail? It has to you double to your hit point oh, okay. total. All right. Yeah. I'm good. What's I your hit point total? Hit point, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, yeah. my maximum is 58. So you didn't... Oh, yeah. You're fine. I'm just now unconscious. So Jerry pops up from Relentless Endurance, but other than that, he's... he's Very charred. Yeah. yeah. Rollercoaster, uh, where are you at? 25 health left. <laughs> if How? only I was able to he banish... He saved twice. I saved twice. Oh, if only I was able to banish that damn dragon. So three of you are down? I'm down, yeah. And, well, okay. uh, Jerry's back up. The vehicle up. gets another mishap. Oh, it does, yeah. Oh, and Jerry, do, does your thing avoid the exhaustion, or did you get a point of exhaustion, too? When you went down and back up? I don't know. If we somehow survive this, Gary gets... What have we been saying with that? I Uh, believe Relentless Endurance, we haven't been. Yeah, I was going to say that anyway. So let's just say you don't get a point of exhaustion from your Relentless Endurance. Obviously, if you go down again after this and come back up, you'll get it. All right. The helm station fills with smoke and is heavily obscured until the mishap ends. Any creature in the helm station is blinded by the smoke. That's you... There, Jerry. <laughs> you're not sure if it's the vehicle or you it's my yourself <laughs> that is is uh, smoking that much. All right. This young dragon. The next dragon goes. It's the green dragon. And it is going to multi-attack the vehicle that you guys are in and try to open up kind of like a clam or an oyster. Uh, You cook it from the outside. Yeah. Uh, All right. Three attacks. One with its bite, two with its claws on the vehicle. Well, it's been nice knowing you, vehicle. (laughs) This is the one we just stole, so it's not like... <laughs> yeah, but it's our also only way to get away from these dragons. <laughs> <laughs> so it has taken... I got it. I'm tracking okay. it. A 29, yeah. 27, and a 17 on those multi 17 is the only fail. Oh, fancy. And there's a damage threshold of 10. Okay. Which I'm sure it won't have a problem hitting. Heck no, dude. Uh, 20 on the bite. That's a mishap. Actually, <laughs> it's... Uh, check that. 24. Okay. And the claw is... Twelve slashing damage from the claw. Does that do anything? No. Cause, yes, it, it does. does. It's enough to hurt it, but only one mess app. Okay. Only mishap. one? Yeah, it has to do 20 damage to mess app. I'm joking. It's taken oh. enough mishaps. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Ripped vehicle. The vehicle's damage threshold is reduced by 10 until the mishap ends as the armor is shredded as intended. That attack did exactly what they planned. They ripped open the chassis <laughs> yeah. like an oyster, and now there's no damage threshold. <laughs> it is awesome. exactly what they went to do. Yep. Gary, it is your turn now. 
Um, Whoa, light. Well, Jerry's light. blinded, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, you're at the helm. You Jerry, can do nothing, or you can do something. Jerry just tries to like take evasive action with the vehicle. I don't, I don't know, like what that looks like. He just starts swerving. Okay, swerving. So. Okay, zigzag. Never run in a straight line. Yeah. Tum. Can he? Can he? Can he reach? Can he reach anyone? Like, is anyone close enough to him? That he can reach one of the people who are down. No. no. Huh? All right. That's Jerry's turn. And as the three dragons have swept, swooped, swooped's the word, right? Uh, down. Swept. swept? I don't know. Swo who cares? Swoopin. Swoopy? <laughs> as the three dragons have swoopied uh, upon you, it, it makes it sound a lot more fun. Uh, the blue dragon is last to move in a little bit behind them. Out of the smoke comes a huge double the size white dragon that is just bearing down on the vehicle and as it passes the blue dragon it w just flips its wing and knocks the blue dragon kind of off course and to the side and it starts to fall but catches itself uh, and the white dragon breathes a gout of icy breath at the other three dragons on top of this white dragon is a turtle a dark gray turtle with a black shell and uh the turtle yells out with amplified voice to the three dragons knock it off and lands next to your swerving vehicle and the three dragons land next to the white dragon and we're out of initiative <laughs> I heal my two down party members okay go ahead uh, and do that each you're gonna get a little cure wounds I'll, I'll be nice I'll give you each a level two. Oh, that's so sweet it doesn't prevent me from getting another level of exhaustion though I think I'm just going to permanently have exhaustion for the rest of this campaign. I mean, are you, you're at four now, right? No, I went down no. to one, oh, but I'm going okay. back up to two now. But you yeah. did choose a wizard. I squishy, did. squishy wizard. I did. Jarvis, you get 12. Ollie, you get eight. Danke. Why, thank you. <laughs> Jerry is going to, uh, he's going to use his mending kit on himself. With my, oh. with my breath, I kind of... Bunch of dicks! Oh, that hurts. <laughs> it burns. Um, and I'm going to start cure woundsing myself as well. While that's going on, you hear the uh. turtle once again with amplified voice yell, seemingly now to you guys as well, cease fighting. Yeah, done. <laughs> and he, t he goes... Abtala, make sure these young, stupid whelps stay in line. And the white dragon roars at the other three dragons who are kind of near each other. And the blue dragon is kind of like looking at its wing where it got battered by this massive white dragon wing, wondering if it's broken. Um, getting off the white dragon is a turtle whose shell is carved with draconic runes uh and if you do any of you speak draconic oh no sir no nope. carved with draconic runes and uh we have the picture don't we jarvis mm-hmm I put it in Discord. Did oh, you put did it you? In? I don't know what that face means. That was a, I don't know. Oh, I didn't see you put that. Got it. Cool. Oh, he looks pleasant. Bad ass. I guess it's more of like a dark, dark turquoise or aqua. Anyways, he's got some cool equipment on. 
and he jumps off the dragon and lands in a three-point stance as he is in that picture right there. Superhero landing. Yeah, superhero landing. <laughs> and walks over to you guys and says, How injured are you? I jump off the demon grinder in a three-point stance landing, my blue cloak billowing out, and I go, huh. oh, I don't know, I'm fine. Nope, we're good, we're good. Right? Uh, Everyone alive? Jerry's just like this, like in the driver's seat, just like... <laughs> I think our driver is... Uh... Jerry, you alive, mate? And I'll healing word you. Uh, level one. You get a whopping six more points of healing. All right. If any of you require healing, I can help with that. Oh, that, oh. that would be great. That would be fantastic. Are any of you dead? It's <laughs> a great question. Not yet. Mean, meaning your party. No. Oh, uh, Lulu, you still around? I haven't heard you say anything. She's down. Oh, shit, yeah. Lulu. Yeah, Lulu's dead. First I said it, so. <laughs> uh, he lays down a cure wounds on old Lulu. She takes that. Lulu knows Archon. She knows everybody else. <laughs> and, well, everybody knows her. <laughs> That's true. She can give three of you guys, or he can give three of you guys cure wounds, and... Yeah, I'm still extremely hurt. Jerry gets one, Jarvis gets one, Ollie gets one. Okay. So Jerry, Jarvis, Ollie. Yeah. Shouldn't have bragged. You were so great, Rollercoaster. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh it's a D eight plus your spell casting modifier, correct? Yeah. yeah. So that's uh I said Jerry, Jarvis, Ollie, Jerry, that's fifteen points of healing. Jarvis, that is eleven points of healing. Thank you. Ollie, that is thirteen points of healing. Well, I'd, I'd say fuck you for uh, the dragon attack and everything, but thanks for the healing. I guess that washes out. Uh, <laughs> we're the Bean Squad. I'm Ali. Who are you? Are you My Archon? My name is Kroll. No, I am not Archon. I am sorry for the young dragonlings. Slarkos, Vista Lancer and Vermilius and Flash who attacked you. They are young and idiotic sometimes. How do you uh, get them yeah. to do what you want? You ride on a gargantuan white dragon named Abtala and scare the life out of them nearly. Yeah. Yep, the answer was so obvious. Yeah. Anyways, I apologize for this transgression, and I hope you will not hold it against me, at least. Well, we'll try and see where we can go from here. Uh, we're actually here to speak with Archon. This is his tower, right? Correct. It's back there near the... As you look back towards the tower, the smoke is starting to clear, and there's mountains rising out of the rocky terrain. And near the tower, kind of in the back behind it, you don't know how far behind the tower, is a canyon uh, that goes back further. You can't see much further than that. And Kroll says, Archon is not in right now. And nor would he 
see you unless you have business with him. Do you have business with Archon or perhaps something he may want? I think we want business with him, but we don't have. We want his business. What can you offer? I don't know if we thought that far ahead. Well, it was more of a well, negotiation on what he is looking for, really. Because uh, because uh, we got we we have a bag of soul coins. I mean, we got some of those uh, to trade with. Uh, we have our own souls, though. We are partial to keeping those. Uh, that just seems like a popular thing that people want down here. Don't know if Archon's the type. <clears throat> uh, We're up for hire. We're Archon. great at doing things. <laughs> Archon would go for whoops. Uh, Archon would go for the sacrifice of an innocent being and looks at Lulu when he says that or some other innocent being I mean well that's uncomfortable you looked right at her man <clears throat> well uh don't know many innocents down here <clears throat> that's uh good to know that archon is into that i guess when when's he gonna be home when he is done with his business like he's going to the bathroom yeah that's what i went uh with it too chair thanks for asking no You should really um, choose your words better. That's what. Can you ballpark like. it for us? Is there some place we can wait? You misunderstand me. If you wait, why would he come out? I have told you what he, what can get you to see, him. Ah, right, right, right. Oh, so he is here. He is not at the tower currently, but I can. Okay. Lead you to him Who if are you have to him. I am a servant of Archons. Hmm. A trusted advisor. Oh good, okay. I was gonna say you shouldn't sell yourself short. You seem pretty great. Thank you. Um Do you know any uh maybe any innocence um about? Maybe like a line other than that hall of Right, like that one's ours. Um, the demon zapper has a unicorn atop it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. you know, we just came from there. You know, it's like days to get back there. Other than that, I would suggest asking an oracle or some other knowledgeable being. Or if you have a magical item of great importance that would be relevant to the Mother of Dragons' interests. How does she feel about demiplane spas? She cannot leave her dwelling. Noted. How does Archon feel? about demi playing <laughs> spas. He has no interest in okay. spas. Is Red Ruth an oracle? She's a hag. I, I say out loud. I believe she is, or at least has oracle tendencies. That's actually a good point. Maybe she can point us to a different innocent. But she would also be going all the way back to the demon zapper, basically. So we might as well just snag the unicorn if that's what we're doing. Is, is that something that's snaggable? There is another thing I just remembered. 
Everything's the... not hackable, Rolly. Everything. <laughs> Let me pull this up real quick. There is a metallic dragon who works out of the I should say there's a rumor of a metallic dragon who works out of the holy shit why can't I see give me a second the wandering emporium Jesus Christ Sells things we have heard. Are you familiar with the Wandering Emporium? Yes. Uh, yes, that's actually the spa we were talking about uh, is there. Have you interacted with any of its vendors? A couple. Yes. Did any of the vendors have any... notable actions or effects or I did go to talk to one and I don't remember any of my conversation are you sure you went to talk to them he definitely did I yes. saw it happen you saw it and you saw him have a conversation and now you no longer remember yes yes no idea why though that could be the answer do you remember the name of this vendor? I do. And I scroll through my notes, because... Bernie. How would you feel about slaying a <laughs> copper dragon? Oh, God. I heard so Bur are you telling me Bernie is a copper Gilbert. dragon? We believe so. <laughs> I mean, could be fun. It could be fun. We also <laughs> just got, like, uh, you know, incinerated by several of these dragons. Do you um, know what else she can do other than make me forget things? It depends if this disgusting dragon is ancient of age or just an adult if it is ancient it will have gouts of acid breath as well as other breath that can slow you it can also change shape which is why you saw it in the form it was in. And most importantly, it can probably take a fucking punch. Or Indeed, they can. Are oh. any of you followers of the Platinum Dragon? Nope. I don't know, but Platinum sounds scarier than Metallic. I would gonna take Jerry's no answer for. Actually, no. would would Jarvis, um, being the whole you know book geek, know anything about the Platinum Dragon from his research? Yeah, Working you think that's libraries? Bahamut? So do you? Uh, he's a god. He's a god. He's a god. He's a god of the metallic dragons who are traditionally good, lawful good, and Tiamat is the god of the chromatic dragons, lawful evil. Or just straight Cer evil? Certainly not. No, none of us uh, are of that persuasion. Okay, good. You would have been quickly fed to Abtala. Reasonable. So, find an innocent or kill a copper dragon. So if we kill this 
metallic dragon. Uh, is there anything in particular that you need for proof? The head. I like the purple blood more. Cool. All right, copper dragon head or a live innocent to sacrifice, correct? Correct. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to. <laughs> we're gonna have to powwow about this one. Uh, thanks. We'll for your time. figure it oh. out. We always do. I will try to make sure more forcefully this time. He says, looking over at the young dragons, that they don't go carousing. I don't suppose any of your dragons uh, double as mechanics, do they? Oh, no. No. What about, would you be willing to lend any of your dragons if we were to take care of this metallic dragon? Lend. Yeah. They, we don't lend dragons. They seem pretty powerful, and they could be very helpful in, in helping. They're us not tools. They are beings who are better than you, puny scum human. Okay, maybe lend was the wrong word. Maybe help was probably the better term. I just think it's funny that he called you a human. <laughs> I say uh, <in> character. <laughs> uh, Kroll goes, I do not think that will be necessary are you not capable i mean you did say if it was an ancient dragon it would be a whole lot worse so it might have been good to just come with a backup plan i gave you the first option i will no longer be speaking with this human <laughs> he says <it> again <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're off then if yeah, that is uh, it. I apologize again. I will... Say you don't have a vial of Tiamat's blood, do you? You're looking for a vial of Tiamat's blood. <laughs> y well, yeah. Okay. That may be enough. I, to be honest with you. telling you to bring sacrifice your innocent holophant or an innocent was a bit of a gag and I was having a laugh but if you actually do it but if you actually do it you, I'm sure Archon would be willing to part with a vial I mean, I'm not attached to unicorns. That's my vote, guys. Uh, yeah, that yeah. sounds way easier than the dragon. <laughs> I mean, it I mean, might still be a handful, but we got that scavenger still back there. Uh, is it possible the that they can claw. turn this demon zapper against us, though? We're not Ooh. demons. I know not. Yeah, no, we're not demons. We're fine. Maybe. Assuming can't be tweaked. Who's going to tweak it? <laughs> the unicorn? I don't think he has much control. Seems like it's probably like powering the demon zapper. I don't think Kroll, it's a Kroll is like a, a Kroll is like a gangster who's just like <laughs> he like gives one of his henchmen like a revolver and tells him to play Russian roulette just to see if they'll actually do it, but he's not <laughs> How do we think Rawl will feel about us taking this uh Who? I don't think Rawl cares. Oh, Rawl doesn't Zala. want to hang out by the demon zapper. He's trying to do all this to get away from the demon zapper. That's true. Of course, if he's bound to protect I him. Don't, I don't give a shit about a unicorn. I'll, I'll kill a unicorn. Jerry's on board. <laughs> all right. Got Jerry. I'm game. Yeah, I'm, it sounds way better. Oh. The other option. This is like ca right, cabin I'm in right, the right, Do we need to unicorns? kill it or steal it? We need to steal it, right? We need to bring it back it. here for a second. Alive. What's, yeah. what's the... Like a uh, movie where unicorns are like actually like pests. 
I don't know. Oh no, it's uh, it's Onward, right? They're like, is that movie Onward? Anyone seen that? I just I yeah, think... I just watched it. I don't remember unicorns being in it. Though. There's some show or something I watched recently where unicorns are like problem animals. Or, yeah, or they're like vermin, basically. <laughs> it's great. So we don't know what type of you know what what are unicorns in this reality? They totally. could be bad. No, 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 they're good. All right, boys, stretch okay. your legs because well, we got like a two-day drive and then like another two-day drive with a unicorn in tow. <clears throat> you guys want to attempt? Kroll is already by Abtala, the the uh, massive gargantuan white dragon. Oh, hold on, Kroll. Hold on, R- real quick. So, real talk. If if we don't need an innocent to sacrifice, you do if you want the blood. Okay, we'll go get the unicorn. <laughs> That's it. Huh. Huh. See, see, you're laughing now. You need the innocence. I'm gonna roll insight on this final one. <laughs> he's so dry. I'm finally, he's gonna <laughs> question it. He's so dry with his delivery and slow. <laughs> it's just like. Wh- is he kidding? I don't... Roll it. Twelve. I mean... He was joking. He said he was not serious about that first part until you said you wanted the blood. Uh, you think he wants the innocence sacrifice? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yep, we're going. We're going. Everybody, uh... Ooh, this is going to get gross. And Kroll gets on the back of Abtala and the massive dragon whoosh, flaps its wings and you feel your beaten up car go whoosh, poof, and fall back on the ground as one beat of its wings does that and is followed quickly by the young dragons who attacked you. When they weren't supposed to. I that totally gonna thought that was very... going to be a TPK. <laughs> yeah, the... a very uncomfortable ride. Our tailbones are going to regret. Yeah, You're not going to attempt to fix it? I was going to say, can we attempt to fix some of these? You definitely can. Some roadside assistance? You can spend the rest of the day doing that, though, if you want to attempt to fix all of them. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I'm going to put... A, I guess. And at least get the smoke out of the way. We can't drive with our engine on fire. Yeah. Just as a precaution, I'm gonna. I think I can do the hut. I don't think there's a limit to how often I can do it. Hmm. Um. So. It's just yeah. I'm gonna ritual. put a hut around us while we try to fix it. Okay. I did some. I, um, I did some digging, and yeah, it's onward where where unicorns are basically like raccoons. <laughs> don't remember it just uh doing the important stuff here guys <laughs> so it only covers part of the car but it covers a large portion of it uh so you have the blinding smoke the shredding of the armor and the damaged axle i'll work uh, on the damaged axle which do you want to work on first just do it in the order. axle axle first okay uh, go ahead and uh, roll a oh, dexterity action. check. Simple dexterity check there, Jarvis. I just realized I was the worst person to do this. I forgot about my exhaustion. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> you're uh, back up at two levels now. Yeah. Jarvis I thought is, you were going to get rid of him. Jarvis is going to make this worse. Um, straight dex, that's going to be... Yeah, that's going to be a, uh, a five. Nope. So you're not able to fix the damaged... Axel, guys, uh, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Spent many hours on that, and he came to the conclusion he has no idea what he's doing, and also that he feels tired. The shredding well, the of, pers- okay. yeah, go ahead. As the person who can uh, clean off the soot and smoke, I will take on the helm. You're welcome, everybody. The blinding smoke the you'd like to try yes. and fix. Okay, there are some aspects to the furnace that have been knocked loose and it requires dexterous hands to do 
to fix it. I just remembered I now also have a point of exhaustion. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> it, so is it just dex or is it sleight yep. of hand? Okay, just dex. dex. Nobody asks for the ranger's help in all these dex. dex I know it. I didn't know this was going to be dex. And with disadvantage, it's terrible. But, like, should bad. we be doing that, though? Should we just give the dice to the best Fine. ability check person? Like, you I mean, I be. usually have good decks, but not right now. <laughs> it's Same. metagaming no. if you're like, who's got the best decks? But it's not metagaming to go, Correct. hey, you're nimble as hell. Correct. You do this. Yeah. Correct. But it would be if you're like, oh, do it's a dex check? Here, you do this. I that have a 16. Be. Do you have an 18? Yeah, that's that's. Stupid. I have a 17. I wasn't asking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so the you failed to fix a five. The yeah, it was bad. Anyone gonna work I come on the shredding out of armor and press digitating? You think it's gonna need myself clean? A heavy hand to beat it into. Yeah, I'm gonna let Jerry do that. I'm not lifting all that shit. I was barely a help with a wrecking ball last time. <sighs> yeah, Jerry's got pretty good. I mean, the he's obviously armor. he's obviously the strongest one. That's true. So go ahead and roll a strength check, Jerry. If I were to haste him in this kind of thing, is there any, like, I mean, I know it gives no. advantage to dex saving throws, but... Nope. Okay. No no advantage. God, even with advantage. Uh, 16? You're able to pound in a large portion of the armor to get it kind of close to where it was. It's a welcome sight after many hours of working on this and having two failed attempts to see Jerry making headway on the armor that will hopefully hopefully you'll not need it but that will provide some protection and mechanically the threshold will be in place <laughs> the least important mishap to fix is fixed <laughs> So, uh, you can go on through the night trying to fix it, or you can just sleep and fix it in the morning, or you can just get in your car and head out. Jarvis wants to go to bed. Yeah, I'll try to fix it in the morning. Okay. All right. Let me roll for an encounter. Fuck you, dice. You make it through the night. No issues. And... So we all get a long rest? Do yep. I... How's my transmutation we'll, stone? Well, would, unless you, like, I don't know that I want to do it every day, but I want to just keep the same problem. Okay. okay. That's fine. Uh, yeah, so just keep the same mishap, I guess. But last Ooh. night we didn't, we did get it or we didn't? You so, got your long rest, your transmuter stone does not work. Okay, so it's the same uh. effect, got it. Still yeah, I thought you were talking about the vehicle. Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't use mishap. Um, all right, so mishaps. Ollie, you're gonna work. Try it. Give it another shot in the morning. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna go underneath and try that. Okay. I need dex checks from both of you. Seventeen. Worse. Four. Again, you're struggling. I see shit. And you you can't get your cat paws into a certain area and it's just it's a struggle. Not with my eyes closed. So it'll take you well into the middle of the day to try it again. Alright guys. Uh, I got it this time. I got it this time. Nope. I don't. Rolly, you got it this time, buddy. Well, um, well, and I, I'm I... going to cast... I rolled a 17 for the chassis or whatever. Oh, nice. yeah. On Unfortunately, it's not enough. Damn. For the axle. Um, I'm going to give you, uh, before a reattempt, I'm going to cast Enhance Ability and give you Cat's Grace, giving you advantage on dexterity checks. Okay, so I'll give my midday shot at the furnace. Yep. At the axle. Damage. Ooh, ooh, 21. And finally, you're able to fix, put put some of the parts back where they're supposed to be, and some of the gears 
hit them back into place and gingerly put them back into place, whatever you need to do, you're able to fix the damaged axle. And you only have one mishap left. Do you want to keep working on it? And that will put you into the night when it's done, if he succeeds. I, we can't, I mean, we can't see. <laughs> no, we can can't see. this without seeing it. We, well, I thought, the I thought you fixed the axle. Oh, no, you I was trying the axle. Oh, I fixed the axle? Okay. I then, thought you were working on the axle. You want to fix the... You want to, I'm, I'm was, fine with you working on the blinding smoke if you yeah. want the damaged axle, which will give you disadvantage on all that shit. Yeah, I was... when Because gotcha. Ollie told me to give his a shot, so that's what I was attempting. Okay. All right, cool. So the blinding smoke and the shredded armor is fixed. Damaged axle is not. Ah, in that case, uh, we're going to have... Uh... A bumpy ride. I think it's more important that we cover some ground. Yeah. What if it becomes more damaged on this bumpy ride? Then we have some fixing to do, I suppose. I mean, this thing's already on its last two legs. Any attack, like... Not like the last one I guess we have another vehicle over at the Demon Grinder. Yeah, we, do. we just got to get <laughs> there. Another vehicle that's even in, even in worse shape. No, that's Pristine. that's pristine. Mm -hmm. What? I thought we took the. I thought we left the old one. No, there. We, our old one got busted in the last fight, and we picked up two A scavenger. new ones. Oh, I thought the other new one drove off. It attacked off. you with two. Mm. Yeah, the but the one, other one. The imps flew oh, away. Oh, right. That's the what I keep thinking. Away. That's what I keep thinking. Okay. Yeah, I thought that at first too. Uh, so yeah. Um, Head out. Okay. Uh, you spend the next few days driving. I need the navigator to make a survival check. Oh, thank God. My exhaustion is finally gone. You want gone. me to do it? I'll navigate. Well, 16. Okay. I think you're doing a good job of it. I rolled for encounters. Got one, but stupid me who put an encounter table together with a fucking spot for no encounter. Just rolled for no encounter. And landed in no encounter. Uh, I like this encounter table. Good job. This is what I mean when I'm being... When I say sometimes I'm too benevolent. <laughs> it's, I'm, <laughs> yeah. The dice are really not in your you, favor today. Remind me to make... To oh. have you... Commission you to make me a chore wheel. A chore like, wheel? <laughs> like a no, couple slots. No I would chores. make the whole fucking thing no chores. <laughs> <laughs> You're like... Having a roommate. This is our chore wheel. Um, <laughs> you just need to roll on it every day. There's no chores on it. What? How can it? Uh, okay. So you make it to the demon zapper. And you get out of the zapper and you guys are like. <laughs> just shaking residually. Uh, quite heavily from the long journey. And you see. Ralzala, mm -hmm. and you do. You're not crawl the, anymore. <laughs> and you do see the other infernal vehicle still okay. there intact, with oh. its wheel turned all the way to the right. <laughs> do we see the unicorn. The unicorn's at the top of the uh, the, so the uh, two hundred foot tower. Get up there, Jarvis. I uh, get up there and wrangle. Real quick, real um, quick before uh, you do that, uh, let's flag Ralzala down. Okay. Yeah, let's tell him what well, we're about to do. Well, real quick, uh, are you poised or required to protect the demon zapper in any way, or the unicorn at top of, <laughs> at the top of it? I am stuck to this location, not the unicorn. Awesome, because it turns out we need that unicorn to get you free. So we're gonna go get that unicorn. And I don't think anything yeah. good's gonna happen to that unicorn How are you because of this. Going to do it. I was thinking. It's a great question. Well, yeah, I, no, I two, figured that out. Two yet. of us can fly. I can, I can make two of us fly. Cool. And Jerry kind of volunteered before, so you can, I'll go, go up to help wrangle. I wouldn't suppose it would probably be willing to come with us. 
Uh, you should tell it a good old lie. I could, Jerry, but Jerry has. But, yeah, Jerry. Jerry will try to convince it, and Jerry has has beast uh, something like beast. You don't need it. So, oh, okay, it's... what I was going to try to do is what I was thinking is I can try to convince it using my my new fancy uh, helm of telepathy and try to tell it to uh, suggest it to come with us. It's possible. Um, yeah, if you can. I get don't know it, how uh, the down. telepathy is going to help. If you could just talk to it. Well, I can use so the the helm will actually let me uh, detect thoughts and then cast suggestion on it. Oh. Um, and then with suggestion, um, I could suggest a course of activity, and if it fails, uh, how long does that like? It'll last eight hours. Um, so we it could be enough to get it somewhere, get it unconscious, possibly and stow, tie it up. I don't know. Just throwing ideas out there. I guess yeah, at I mean, this point... Get it down here. It's at this point, um, Jerry, in your head, while they're talking, you hear a voice that goes, Hello, this is Utherga. Are you Jerry... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hello, Jerry Euthurga. I'm Euthurga. Archduke Zeriel, in all her glory, is providing denizens of Avernus with grants to increase your station here in the Nine Hells. I don't. This know what is a totally is. free, sir. This is totally free. We just need your full name, your family members' names, and your John Coxwain on a contract. All you need you to know, huh. all we need Denizen? to know is what you'd like to receive, and we can provide you anything you need here. I don't think I'm a denizen of Avernus. Currently, are you currently on Avernus? Yeah. You qualify, Jerry. Congratulations. <laughs> um, Nothing yeah. is off the table. Whatever your heart desires, it's a grant, which means it doesn't have to be paid back. Athelga, where are you calling from? From Avernus. Where? A little call center on the other side of the Grand Canyon. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's a Grand Canyon. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's an infernal Grand Canyon, but it's a Grand Canyon. <laughs> Wow, that's great. I've always wanted to go to that side of the Grand It's Canyon. actually inside the Grand Canyon, technically. Always wanted All to... the call centers are in here inside into the side of the hill of the Grand Canyon. It covers every oh, okay. every inch. Kind of sounds like you're changing your accent now. But, um, yeah, I've are always wanted interested? to go down to the bottom of the Grand Canyon. You don't Around... want to go down to the bottom of this one. Oh, okay. Uh, what does your heart desire, Jerry? Anything. I would just love... Um, I would love for this... Someone to buy this invisibility ring off me. And just give me for a For how much would you it. like them to buy the invisibility ring? Uh, five soul coins. I can make that happen, Jerry. I just need your full name, your family member's full name, and your John <laughs> Coxwain on a contract. All right, what, a, what am I signing to exactly? What's the fine print on this? It's just to make sure you received, uh -huh. you're agreeing to receive, you're signing to Archduke Zeriel's generous contract grant. Uh huh. But in my, my soul, right? And I owe my soul to you? No, of course not. Oh, okay. So I don't owe anything? I just get a grant? Are you, do you want to roll an insight check? Or you <laughs> yeah. don't have to. If you don't think Jerry would... If you think Jerry would just believe it, then fine. <laughs> I, I, feel like, I feel like he probably would believe it, but I've, I haven't played that way so far with these phone calls. So. Okay. I will just say, like, he, he knows enough to know that devils always want your soul. So no insight check. Do you want me to roll an insight check? I'll if you want to. Yeah, sure. 
you can get. I'm, at, I'm t giving you an opportunity to get more information potentially. Yeah, uh, I'll take it. Uh, what did I get? Insight to uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, your first inclination was right. Also, anything you can ask for anything, and that's like one of those too good to be true situations. Some it's you promise anything if you right. have no intention of giving anything you can promise anything so yeah. that's what i'll say I, yeah i gotcha hello jerry yeah hey, thurga hey thurga are you still with me uh yeah i have no choice You have no choice. Oh, I just mean I have no choice but to but to be with you because you're inside my head. Oh, um, that's a good point. Yeah, I would love some blood of Tiamat if you got any. Uh, of course, we have blood of Tiamat, blood of. Okay, I'll take five soul coins, blood of Tiamat, and yep. All right, I'll give you my give you the names. Okay, what are the names, Jerry? All right, my dad's name's Barry. My mom's name is Carrie. Um, Barry, so, Carrie. A, a Korsh. A, a Korsh. Yeah. My brother's name is Gary. And my Gary. other brother's name is Larry. Larry. And then there's uh, my sister's name is Jerry with an I. Jerry with an I. Yeah. And then, and then I got um, a dog named Scary. Scary. Yeah. And well, that's, that's all we need, Jerry. Uh, I, I assume you're giving fake names, right? Those... <laughs> no, those are real names. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay. Uh, so before you pops a contract uh -huh. uh, and a floating pen, what do you do? Do we see this? <laughs> no, it's just oh, in front God. of him. Is he just like zoned out right now? Like what's happening? Yeah. What do we see? You see the exact same thing you've seen before when he gets these telemarketers. Hey guys, I'm about to sign this contract. What? Why? They, they said they're going to give me the blood of Tiamat and five soul coins. Did you read the contract? Oh, okay. Yeah, I should do that. Jerry starts reading it. Can you make can an you investigation check, Jerry? Uh -oh. Investigation. Fifteen. Fifteen. There's some <laughs> tricky parts to this contract. <laughs> Quite frankly, you get a little bored and you start like uh -huh. mind starts to wander. So you just skip those parts. For the most part, it seems <laughs> legit. Yeah, Jerry but signs you it. did get bored with some some language that was just convoluted and it seems <laughs> i yeah, that's how, how i felt i feel like i'm not really uh i'm not really one to talk in this regard uh so you uh doesn't sound like a good deal but i can't really uh say no you didn't even negotiate for any arrows, which really upsets me. <laughs> well, he got five soul coins. Hey, uh, so before what, I sign like, this, can I uh, fifty arrows? Exactly. Can I, can I get a hundred arrows? Sure, Jerry. <laughs> nice. And so can I get like up here on the can I get like a thousand yep. yards of your finest silk? Sure, Jerry. A thousand Man, yards. They of are silk. just backing up the tr the uh, truck <laughs> <laughs> or, or what. Whatever we call these vehicles, um, I'll take a blueberry. Tart hold on, if hold on. If, if they're just orders. accepting anything, ask for something ridiculous like Zeriel's sword, or hey, can we get um, like Zeriel's El Terrell sword? leaving hell? Jerry a hell of cottage cheese. You want Zeriel's sword? Oh, yeah. Can we get like? Can we get like twelve cans of beans? Twelve cans Ooh, of beans. Yeah. You know, Jerry, that's a lot to ask for. And that's oh, okay. even beyond the, the bounds of the grant. But because I like you, Jerry, I'm going to say yes. This one time. 
Oh, wow, guys. It sounds like a super special offer just for me. The sword or the beans? All of uh, it appears on the all contract. Of it. He's going to throw in the beans, even though he normally doesn't do that. Um, did he have to get manager approval? Hey, did you do you have to get do you have to get your manager to approve that? I'm actually the manager of this branch in the northeastern <laughs> portion of the Infernal Grand Canyon. Oh, wow. If they don't There's have like to get multiple a, branches approval, just in the Grand Canyon. Uh, if they don't have to go one level up for approval, you didn't ask for enough. It's, yeah, I have to agree with that. Can you go up to your superior and get, get sure? <laughs> uh, hey, Mike. <laughs> is it okay if I make this deal for the grant? Yeah, I'm going into section A dash B dash C one two three. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Yep, he approved it, Jerry. It's your lucky day. He approved what? He approved of everything I'm giving you. All right. All right, uh, as soon as you guys provide that stuff, I'll, I'll sign it. No, no, Jerry, we, you need to say, you need to sign this, Jerry. You need to sign this as a, this is a, you're uh, saying, Jerry, listen, Jerry, you're saying <laughs> I request this. This is what this signature means. You're saying I request this. You know, we, I got to wrangle a unicorn. Um, we'll have to just pick this up again another, another time. <laughs> Jerry, don't do this, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry. Jerry just starts Thanks. going to, to wrangle the unicorn. <laughs> so that's where we'll leave it. With with Jerry being yelled at before she gives up, and that's pretty much my exact strategy when I go to buy a car. I just start saying like, "Oh, I got an appointment. I gotta leave." <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Thanks, guys. Good time. Glad I got that in. I wrote Thanks. that. Thanks. I wrote that specific telemarketing call <laughs> down today instead of just coming up with it. So. I've been really waiting for an, another good. another one of those calls, so I liked it. Right. I love I'll it. Get Jerry the, one of these days. <laughs> I totally thought you were. How gonna much sign more that. do they have to offer, Jerry? What's it gonna take? Right. All right. I think, yeah, I mean, Jerry will eventually sign one of those, probably. <laughs> just a matter of time. You guys have anything to plug? No. Like, nope. Come watch me on twitch.tv slash IHCTheRaws. When do you stream? Generally, right now, it's Tuesdays and Thursdays for sure. Okay. And then uh, off nights, depending on my work schedule. Okay, perfect. I H C the Raws. Great. All right. Thank you for watching episode 28. Come back next time. Mondays at 7 p.m. Pacific. Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. Find out if they can wrangle a unicorn and have Lulu be okay with them sacrificing another celestial being or if she's going to ask for something to help her be able to swallow this pill. <laughs> She's been quiet the whole time, but we'll find out. Thanks for watching. Be excellent to yourself. Be excellent to others. We'll see you later.